Hi guys. Hi. It has been a long time since we've done an update like this. We've been busy. We've been crazy busy. Very, very. <laughs> but we've got some really good updates we wanted to share with all of you. We're in our Harmony Turbines t-shirts, but it's chilly, so. Good to look. Got a little bit of uh, <laughs> flannels going on <Yeah>. here. <laughs> Early May update. Okay. Well. Uh, our second round of funding, the last time we did an update, we were still closing out that second round of crowdfunding with WeFunder. Let's talk about that. We closed that round with 218700 I believe was the final official total. So we beat last year's funding by, uh, I don't know, 32000 or something like that. Very, very cool. And we now were able to pay off some of the things that we had waiting in the wings, get our new insurances for the year, and use that funding to kind of move forward with some of the things that we're going to be talking about here a little bit later in our update. Okay. So let's talk about a competition that we were part of, the Arctic Innovation Competition. We entered the Arctic Innovation Competition last month and actually walked away from that with the second place prize as well as a sustainability kicker prize. So we came away from the Arctic Innovation Competition, thank you AIC, with $7,000 for Harmony Turbines. So really cool experience <laughs> and we vindicated ourselves from a 2019 showing where we didn't really place, we didn't do anything. Uh, other than an honorable mention there in 2019. <laughs> so we came back and kicked some butt. Yeah, that was very exciting. Um, so other exciting news is uh, if you remember a number of months ago or over the past few months, we've talked about uh, the universities, five universities for, that had applied to work with us with uh, their engineering departments. We had picked three of them and it was Northumbria University, Bucknell University, and Penn State University. And all three of them submitted applications to various places to get funding for their programs. A long time ago, we knew that Northumbria in uh, the UK had gotten their funding, and we were waiting for Bucknell and Penn State to get the response back from Pennsylvania. Well... We weren't allowed to speak about it yeah. until April 8th. It was hush hush, the you know Department of State, you're not allowed to talk about this until they release it. But finally, April 8th, they released the results from the $2.3 million in funding that Governor Wolf announced. And Harmony Turbines was on that list twice, guys. We got funding, full funding, uh, well, the universities got the full funding for the projects they were proposing for their research and development research, I shouldn't say development, for their research projects into Harmony Turbines. So Bucknell University and Penn State both received full funding for their projects that they're doing with researching Harmony Turbines technology. And then those, those are not the full amount of their projects. They also, the universities match funds for them. So the budgets really, when you look at Penn State, Bucknell and Northumbria all added together, it's probably going to come in somewhere in the neighborhood of $400,000 that are going to be available to these universities for researching, specifically researching Harmony Turbines technology, which is really, really awesome. Validation and um, coefficients of power and efficiency, all kinds of things. Really, really good data that's going to be coming out over the next probably 18 months from these universities. We're just starting to look at ramping those teams up and getting that effort going. It'll happen simultaneously with our R&D work that we're going to be doing, and we're actually going to talk about that in a moment, too. <laughs> but before we get there, let's talk about uh, our investors that we've had through WeFunder and what's coming up next for our, our investors. So we are already starting to talk about a new funding round through Start Engine. Mm -hmm. This time we're gonna be doing it through Start Engine, probably in a few months if we can get the paperwork all finalized. We are working on a new back end for our cap table through Core Connex, and I'll put the link for that. But you guys, all the investors out there who have, people who have already invested, will get a brand new front end dashboard that they'll be able to go in and look at their investment, they'll be able to update information, even later on, I've heard that you can do secondary trading or if the company of Harmony Turbines wants to offer a share buyback program, you'll be able to sell your shares back to us. There's, this platform is top notch. So Core Connex and Start Engine are where we're headed over the next two months, probably to 
roll us into some more funding to get things going. We've had a lot of people asking about, I can't invest, what's going on? Well, yeah, we're in between funding rounds right now, but have no fear, we're about to start up another funding round as quickly as we can get that paperwork all filed and get things knocked out there. Speaking of investors and our community, uh, we wanted to say a special thank you to those who are participating or have been supporting us through Patreon. Uh, we've, you guys have been a wonderful help. Um, we've noticed an increase in Patreon subscribers and we've also noticed a significant increase in YouTube subscribers and support there. So thank you for being a part of our community here and for supporting us. Uh, we wanted to give a shout out to you. <laughs> yes, thank you very much that, for so thank all you. of that support. Yes. And it's it's like somebody lit a match recently. I keep mm -hmm. saying things are really starting yes. to catch right now and it's awesome. So speaking of that, we were recently at a Venture and IP conference at Penn State University about a week ago. It went well. We had um, uh, two days that we were up there and came away from that with a number of contacts and really good information from investors who are interested in potentially taking things to the next level but as of yet it's nothing further than some discussions and it opened up some potential doors. I'm not going to get into anything further there because there's nothing really to report other than it was a good conference and may have helped with networking. And speaking of possible future funding, we have uh, we have brought on two folks recently. Actually, Bryant is somebody we have already mentioned um, who is doing <clears throat> working on some of our uh, algorithms. Um, but we've brought on a second partner here. His name is Sal. Hopefully, we'll be introducing him to you folks in the near future. Both Sal and Bryant are um, looking at helping us find funding via grants, uh, writing grants and. This is something that we are not familiar and experienced with, but both of them have that experience. So we are so excited that they are excited to be a part of our community here and want to help us in that manner. And uh, it'll be exciting to see what shakes out from that. So thank you, Sal and Bryant, for uh, attempting to help us find funding in that avenue also. Pepperdine University. I. Um... I don't know a lot about this university, but I do know they run a really cool competition that is the most fundable companies competition they do yearly. And when you uh, are in the top slots in this competition, you're actually featured on the Entrepreneur magazine when I'm not sure what place you have to be if, you're, if they only feature the top one, but we are in the quarterfinals for the most fundable companies competition with Pepperdine University. Um, so fingers crossed here we have some paperwork to submit and more will be coming out on that if we make it further. As of right now we're in the quarterfinals for Pepperdine University's most fundable company competition. So yeah, it's pretty cool. That's so exciting. <laughs> yeah. All right, you take the next one. All right guys, <laughs> glamping.global. We just signed a partnership deal and we received a letter of intent from this company. We met with the owner in person, Devin Toll, who is the owner of Glamping.Global and they have signed a letter of intent to invest $250,000 in Harmony Turbines, potentially even more than that. Depends on a couple things on his end. Right. We're going out to Montana to meet with them to see some of their facilities, to meet with the owner and more of the executives on their team. We're heading out to Montana the end of May here. Mm -hmm. So a weeks. really cool stuff there and more to come on that end. Yeah, that's very exciting. So shout out to Glamping.Global and Devin. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. All right, so we've talked a lot about uh, funding and all these competitions and whatnot, but what is next? Where are we going? Gee, I don't know. It sounds like there's a lot of admin work. We might need a new COO. Um, Hmm. Guess what, guys? Cheryl is going to be doing a lot more work for Harmony now. Yes. As we ramp up and move into things, we now need an official chief of operations, chief operations officer. She is going to be taking that role as we move into all the work that we're doing with new internship programs that we have through Penn State, hint, hint. <laughs> we just officially started that. Right. Um, we've done a lot of progress on our new kits and the development of those. And then we're going to be moving into the actual production of our 400 watt prototypes so that we can move those steps forward. 
So at this point, everything is moving forward at lightning pace and we're now shifting into the physical work that we're gonna be doing on the 400 watt kits and taking that to the next level. Our new Very chief exciting. COO is going to be helping out and taking a lot of the work off my hands for answering emails and doing the admin stuff. I'll be doing pretty much everything except the inventing. Yeah, I like that, that works. <laughs> it, it frees him up to actually get this thing out the door. It's amazing, so yeah. it, it'll be fun. We're starting to delegate. It's getting yeah. to the point where we need to delegate, we need to put more time into now taking it to the next levels, and of course, getting that 400 watt kit produced is key because we're at the expense of parts right now. We're where we need to be 3D printing and 3D printing a single scoop. These scoops are two feet in diameter and a foot tall. I mean, they literally cost $1,600 a piece to 3D print them. Now you take that times eight, you're looking at 12 grand for printing the scoops. And you have to print them before you get into injection molding because making a mold could be $80,000. And if you mess that up, you're like, oh crap, now we've got to spend another 80K to make new molds. So you do all your 3D printing first, even though it's expensive to make your prototypes, it helps you vet the all the fittings, the you know tolerances, make sure you have everything just how you want it to take it to the next level. So we are moving forward as quickly as we can. The new money that's gonna be coming in is gonna help move these efforts forward and push these initiatives forward. And you're gonna see a lot more happening now with that 400 watt kit development and the progress that's being made there. Simultaneously with our back end COO taking the reins on a lot of things and then also our internship program helping to plug in and work on the algorithms. We're gonna get them working on the Arduino and the algorithms for our back end furling and the generator, um, just all of the mechanics that have to happen there. So that's gonna play into it really well as well. And for those of you who were in the first uh, WeFunder campaign that we did where we uh, had t-shirts and hats as, what, they're not prizes. No, they, they, were, they were a benefit or a, a, perk. a perk. I think yeah, they were a called perk. a perk, yes. Um, now that I am the COO, <laughs> we're gonna make this happen. <laughs> it is gonna happen, are you trying to say I, I was, Are you trying to say I wasn't making this happen before? Well, I mean, we had a bit of a hold up because we were actually in the process of doing the website for it, but we decided to go through a logo change. So this is probably going away. We're going to be rebranding. We're going to be doing a whole new website. Um, I don't know. That's all in flux right now. So we're not going to talk too much about that. But um, at oh, this point, when we have the new logo, don't worry. We haven't forgotten logo, about the t-shirts and, and hats. T-shirts and hats. Yeah, it will happen, guys. I promise. We haven't forgotten about it, and in fact, we're going to be doing a very large campaign to give. We wore our polos. We might even put a little shot of that up on the screen, but we wore new polos with our new logo or maybe a, an idea of what our new logo. I don't know. We don't know where it's going. So, <laughs> But um, we had those on when we went to the Penn State event, and it was it was pretty nice to have some, some new stuff coming that way. So... I don't want to speak about what we don't quite know yet. It hasn't been finalized, so. Yep, more to come on that. More to come. All right. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for your support. Wrap. Thank you for yes. for supporting everything that we're doing here, for spreading the word, for following with us, for sticking with us, for believing in us, because it's through you that all of this becomes possible. Without you, none of it is possible. Right. We're just a bunch of crazy people out here saying we've got this really amazing tech, but no one listens to us. So <laughs> you're listening to us, you're Thank understanding you. the potential, you are understanding where this could go and how game-changing this can be for both the environment and society in general. So thank you for that. Yeah. All right. Anything else, COO? No, I think that's a wrap. All right, guys, take care. We'll try and get an update out as soon as we have something more, but just wanted to get all this good information out to you in the short term right now, early May, for an update. Take care. See ya.